Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 1 to developers. Let's take a look at the build number. And as we can see right here, about this Mac has changed. And if you're wondering where everything else went, it's in this more info button where we open up system preferences. We're able to see everything in this new system preferences. It looks a lot like the iPad version of system settings. And in fact, system preferences is no longer called system preferences, it's called system settings now. Also, a bunch of apps no longer say preferences, they now say settings. Not every app has been changed with preferences. We also have new weather and clock app in macOS now. The weather app is basically the same thing that we got in iPadOS, and it shows the weather just like it does in iOS. And it looks really nice on the Mac. I'm glad they finally added this to the Mac. Along with the weather app, we also have the clock app in macOS, and it does everything you need it to. We also have the clock app being added to macOS. So we have the world clock here. We are able to set alarms, have stopwatches, and timers, just like the iPad version version of the clock app. This alarm I set for today did not even go at all, so not sure what to say about that. For the first time ever, we are able to use our iPhone camera as our camera for our MacBook. So you heard my iPhone right there, and the picture is a lot better. That looks so good. It looks a lot better than any other webcam. With continuity camera, you have the ability to use center stage. For example, I can go over here and it follows me where I go. And we also have the ability to use something called desk view. It's not that great at the moment, as you can see right here, but as time goes on, it will probably get better. And we also have a new studio light option for the camera. I like studio light in my opinion, it looks really nice. So do I not need to get a studio display after all? Can I just use my iPhone as a camera? <laughs> have you ever had windows this clutter before? You always had like three windows just like that. So no longer do you need to have windows this messy. There's a new feature inside of Control Center called Stage Manager, and you're able to control the windows and even add a couple more for example if i wanted to add a photo booth for a reason i can add photo booth just like that i'm also able to open up photos and maybe even feedback assistant if i wanted to and i'm able to effortlessly switch between all of them and it's really easy to do we also have a little preview of everything that we are seeing just right here it's a really nice feature i've gotten really addicted to this feature to the point that my that i had like pretty much every app opened on my map really nice we are able to do everything we we came with the old home app just with a brand new really nice thing you can see right here it no longer comes out of a window it's just right here just like that and look. let's say i accidentally send some typo here for example i accidentally said help with a question mark i am now able to edit it just like that and now it auto corrects even on the other person's side let's also say i accidentally send a message like this i also have the ability to undo send and it pops just like this. right here is mac os monterey 12.4 for whatever reason, if the single core is higher, but the multi core is a little bit lower, but being a little bit lower doesn't really mean anything. It could be that the system was doing a background task while it was running. That is really good for a first beta. Apple has been doing a really good job. Mac OS Ventura gets even smoother. You can see this go a lot higher than Monterey. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. What's your favorite feature of Mac OS Ventura? And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!